Manchester United were the last visitors to the Radeski and they left with only a point. Can Chelsea do any better today? It's the clash of the champions of 2006. Chelsea hold the title for the Premiership, of course. Reading were top dogs in the Football League. So who'll win the decider here today? They may be only 40 miles apart on the M4 motorway, but in truth, these clubs are on different planets. The beauty of football, of course, is that sometimes the difference doesn't show. There's a great team spirit here. But Chelsea do have a habit of surviving these tricky tests. In fact, they've won every one of their last 12 visits to newly promoted clubs over the past four seasons. Some record. Chelsea in their all-black chain strip as Reading in the hoops get us underway and an early touch for Marcus Hanneman making his 200th appearance for Reading today, the American goalkeeper. Looking for Doyle. Sailing all the way through, giving the opposite keeper at the check, an early test. Made a couple of great saves to deny the Republic of Ireland in their qualifier in Dublin in midweek, and the referee not happy with Hunt's challenge on him. Well, the corner feels uh, Stephen Hunt just left his foot in there. I mean, Bullaroos doesn't deal with the initial header. And as that ball was skipping away off a, a very, very well-soaked surface, Tackle from behind, and that's what Mike Riley will be explaining to the youngster. Well, good work again from uh, Stephen Hunt. <laughs> He's had an extremely prominent first half from the first moment of this game where he caught the Chelsea goalkeeper right the way through to the, the dying moments of this first half. Been very influential. Sure, he's cross. Ooh, that was close. What a ball that was. Now, space has opened up for Shevchenko. Drop bar ahead of him. Done well. Lampard. It's going to be another free kick, even closer to the Reading penalty area. Well, they're not very happy, are they, Reading? They felt that Frank Lampard just ran into Sonko there. Clever little play, wasn't it? I don't think Sonko can really get out of the way. Imagine uh, Hammond is going to see an awful lot of this on. Oh, and he didn't. It was deflected in. A complete fluke of a goal. Almost certainly an own goal, I would think, of Ingemarsson. Lampard's shot. Well, it got the luckiest bounce imaginable. And Chelsea, the champions, are in front. And Ingemarsson can't do anything about it. He just can't move his feet quick enough to get himself into a position where he can clear the ball from danger. And a man reaches, drops it. And relieved to see his defenders help him out. That is a foul. There was a little bit of afters there, but I think that John Obi Mikel is going to get a yellow card, and rightly so. He's off. He'd already been cautioned in the first half. Well, that's just plain stupidity.
Hunt. It's supposed to be Sid Wells. And it was. Well, he seemed to hesitate before the shot. It wasn't far away. Well, he had a sighter, didn't he, about 15 minutes ago that didn't hit the target, but this time he just lets the ball run across his body. Good composure, very difficult, you know, as that is coming across. He knows he's got to get the timing of it right, but he doesn't go try and thrash in it, he just makes sure he gets a good contact. Drogba, one man who shows that desire from first minute to last. Yellow car's going to be produced for BK. Touch there from Drogba. Oh, brilliant skill from Drogba. Had his feet taken by PK, who remember was yellow carded earlier. And he's off. Terrific first touch from Drogba as he goes past the substitute. Does he catch him? Just a slight clue. But it's, it's frustrating, I think, when I watch situations like this. That, yeah, the referee will always argue and say, that's a free kick. He's caught his ankles, but does it warrant a second yellow? And then a red. Oh, I'm not sure. But they really are desperate to get on the end of this, including the keeper now. Hanuman with a run. Kudicini did brilliantly to reach that. He's still on the ground and hooked away almost off the line by Drogba. And it looks as if it's Sonko is a player that catches him. 